Hey guys, I have two Bitmain related stories to talk about in this video and these come courtesy of Joseph. Many thanks to Joseph, he shared the links to these stories yesterday in the comment area, so hat tip to you my friend. Um, the first story is about the Bitmain Ant Miner DR3. This is a new Decred Miner, so it's for the, the coin Decred and the algorithm is Blake256, is it R14? See if I get this right. Blake256 R14, I actually got it right. So, yeah, so you can see here, it's actually sold out already. $673 more if you want a su uh, power supply and probably more when it arrives in your country because of customs. It's about 1,410 watts, I believe. Yep. So, yeah, it's, um, this is a brand new miner and it's sold out already, so very popular. So it's for the coin, the cred, and so the, the profits here, $7.27, this is for 18 cents. So this is, you know, if you're in the UK, that's probably around what you were getting. If you're paying 12 cents, you'll be making $9.31 per day. Now, obviously, this is going to go down over time. But, um, yeah, it, it seems quite efficient. Where is it? It tells you there's a part with the efficiency. Power efficiency, power efficiency on 180.73. But, um, yeah, it looks quite good. As you can see here, a maximum hash rate of 7.8 terahashes for a power consumption of 1,410 watts. Now, that is something that I've, I've talked about before. This Ant Miner knew this was coming out, but the bigger announcement is that Bitmain have announced a next generation chip. So the new chip will use, you can see it down here, seven nanometer semiconductor manufacturing process. So... You can see here that the next generation ASIC chip is going to be called the BM1391 uh, for mining cryptocurrencies using the SHA-256 algorithm. Now, there's a part here, so, where is it? Yeah. So, Mr. Wu said that tests have shown that the chip can achieve a ratio of energy consumption to the mining capacity that is low as 42 joules per terahash. And um, if you've got an ASIC farm, I assume that means that you're going to have to upgrade. So it's got a part there. In 2016, Bitmain took the lead in releasing mass-producing 16 nanometer chips. So, I mean, I don't know how this is going to transfer as yet into hash power. You know, I assume it's going to be more efficient and all that. But as far as actual numbers, as far as actual profits, I don't think anything is going to change. Uh, and certainly not in the Bitcoin world. If it's not efficient for you to mine Bitcoin in your country right now because of electricity costs, I don't think this will make a huge difference. But we might we might see a jump in hash power because of these new miners that are going to come out. Um, time will tell. You know, th there's not a lot to to really take in there. All we know that there's a new chip coming out, but it'll be a, a little bit of time before we we see some tests and we see how these actually perform and what the improvement is, and of course what the cost is. But I'll leave a link to this article anyway. You can check it out. Um, let me know what you think, guys. Let me know what you think about this. And if you know any more Bitmain news that, are, that is related to that, please do let me know. Um, ASICs remain a kind of... Is, I, th I think it's quite interesting. We're seeing a lot more ASICs being released right now, and I, th I do think the market is still quite interesting. And I do think we're going to see more being released. It is becoming more competitive. So we'll see what happens. So thanks for watching. Many thanks to Joseph again for sharing the link with me. And I'll speak to you all in the next one. Cheers, guys.